In this video, I'll be cracking a password in less than 60 seconds. And by the way, I'm 11. At the end, I'll also be explaining how exactly I did it. But for now, let's get cracking. Bankstatement.pdf is a password protected PDF. So let's crack the password. Time starts now. Step one, extract the password hash from the file. Cracking this password could take seconds to decades, depending on its strength. By the way, I have an entire video about password strength and protecting yourself from getting your password cracked. Link in the description below. Boom, we have the hash. Step two, feed the hash into John the Ripper. Boom, the password is Maverick. Time stop, 32 seconds, not bad. Let's open the file using Maverick as the password. And we're in. Now, let's explain what I just did in a bit more detail. The command that I run here extracts the hash of the password protected PDF file, which by the way, is not a real bank statement, it's a fake one. John the Ripper hashes 60 seconds? In this channel, I aim to debunk the myth that cybersecurity is only for computer professionals. I'll be explaining to you all of the industry's key aspects in plain and simple English so that anyone can understand even you. To be the first to know, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So, what actually is a hash? Well, to put it simply, it's a string of letters in lowercase and numbers, which is an encoded version for sensitive data like your password. For example, hello123 hashed is this. Now that we have the hash, we feed it into John the Ripper and let it run. It has predefined lists of hundreds of thousands of passwords which it uses. That's why the password which we had was found in seconds. However, if you have a password that's not in the predefined list, then it will start the long process of guessing every possible combination. It will guess A, then AA, AB, AC, AD, and so on until it finds the correct one. This is exactly why you need to have a very strong password, preferably consisting of 16 or more characters, including lowercase, uppercase, numbers and symbols. There are some more tips and tricks you can use, which I've made a whole video about. The link is in the description below, or you can visit my channel and check it out. Governments around the world strongly urge businesses and families to prioritize cybersecurity emphasizing it as an absolute priority. I strongly agree with this and believe that cybersecurity should be taught from a young age to develop good habits and raise awareness to the current and next generation. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.